Hey, Aaron, do you feel that? What? The heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored by Heebie-Jeebies, the people who brought you the game's management material general office, management material information technology, and the game marriage material. One thing that doesn't scare me or gross me out, a beer. One thing that does scare me and gross me out, however, is Fuhorbe. It gives me the few horby jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> We're drinking Dragon Hosen Imperial Oktoberfest from Boulder Beer. Isn't it pronounced Dragon Hosen? Dragon yes, Hosen. It, it does have the umlaut, so it's Hosen. Drink this slowly, it's 9% alcohol. Oh! This tastes like when you, if you fell into a pile of leaves and you accidentally had your mouth open. And there was also some like maple syrup from a tree that had dripped down. I do not leaves. taste maple syrup. I do, I do get maple oh, syrup. I'm definitely. tasting maple. Tastes like a nice German Dunkel. It's very smooth. Was ist das Dunkel? German dark beer. Not like your creepy father's brother. Dunkel? <laughs> Dunkel John touched me again. <laughs> Dunkel John! First of all, we need some voting cards. One, two, three, four. Get your Dunkel on the floor. The game of EBGBs is a simple one. You are going to draw four cards, you're going to look at them, and you're going to think about them. And then you're going to determine which one gives you the heebie-jeebies the most, from most to least jeebies. Everyone else is going to determine which one they think is gives you the heebie-jeebies the most, and they're going to secretly vote with their voting cards. We're going to reveal them all at once. The people who guessed correctly get points. The people who don't get shit. It's like we're measuring our jeebies on the heebie scale. Yeah. The heebie scale was developed at MIT in the 60s, and it's still in use. Maybe we should call it the GB scale. The Hebe scale has a little bit of a connotation that perhaps we don't want. I don't know what that is. Sort of a racially loaded. Oh, I wouldn't have known that. I don't know anything about racials. We'll call it the GB scale. <laughs> I got a racial the other day when I was at the spa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't ever Google facials. <laughs> I was going away on a girls' weekend. I got this nice kit. I'll give everyone a nice little facial. I'm like, mm, what goes first, cleanser or toner? I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, facials. <laughs> what do you got? Stitches, the thread lacing your flesh tightly together. Oh, wow, they are graphic. Paintings that appear to be staring at you. Diet soda or monotony, the same thing over and over with no sign of excitement anywhere. What gives me the most heebies and jeebies? Okay, you ready? Yes. And yeah. go! What?! <laughs> Fuck off, diet soda. I hate diet soda. It makes me feel really oh, gross. You like stitches better, do ya? Yes. <laughs> or monotony? Oh, already! <laughs> that is the earliest board flip ever in this show. All right, so no one gets any points. I think we should all give either the definition of what a heebie-jeebie is. Sarah's been doing some research. Perhaps we should listen to her. Yes, okay. the heebie-jeebies are a Canadian a cappella band formed in 1993. Which one of these creeps me out the most? Wearing the same underwear for two weeks straight. Fuck, that is gross. That is really... Cloned? Animals. Slimy mushrooms. Mm. Using someone else's fork. Covered with their fresh slobbery germs, it's going right into your mouth. Bah. One, two, three. Four. Two! Uh, what? Ah. Diet soda? <laughs> Slimy mushrooms, they're disgusting. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, totally. Yeah. Which of these cards will most remind you of an acapella group? Pudding. It's not solid, it's not liquid, so you just let it slide down your throat. Uh, Soiled facial tissue, really stinky farts, or student drivers. Uh, the dunkle. Three, 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 three. Oh, 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 all right! A clap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at you. You did a very nice job. The three of us get points. Can she have a point? She gets nothing. But I, she should get one. No. Look at that smile. It's so pretty. One, two, <coughs> four. Get your booty on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Your booty is the one I hate. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Your booty can go to hell. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen sixteen. sixteen. I thought you thought my booty was pristine. <laughs> <laughs> terrace. A terrace? You mean like in the summer? You go out onto a nice terrace in the sunshine and you're like. <laughs> yes, a terrace. How do you feel about plazas? <laughs> what about cabolas? Es esplanades. Verandas. Gazebo jeebies. 
terrorist. Oh, so. I don't enjoy going on those in the summer. Chick movies. Belly button lint. Fast zombies. One, two, three, four. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Belly button dinky, lint. Dinky. <laughs> brain surgery. I've heard that you can't be anesthetized when they do brain surgery. Yeah. You have to be awake. Like you Amazing. have to give responses. Is that it? Is that it? So How about now? Like Is that it? How about now? They cut your head open. Being tasered, you're bro. Gonna, you're gonna shit yourself. Filing for bankruptcy. It's hard to shake the stigma that you failed to control your finances. <laughs> Disco. None of these are really <laughs> gross. However, being tasered, you are going to shit and piss yourself. Bum. Ready? 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 Ready. Ready. Yo! Disco. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have brain surgery than listen to disco. Bullshit. <laughs> Beer and Board Games The Series is sponsored by Suddenly Drunk, a set of cards that transform any turn-based board game or card game into a drinking game. They pledged our highest pledge level on Patreon, and that is why they are the sponsor of the series, Beer and Board Games. You can go to Patreon right now, and you can make a pledge, and you can get a special reward. Our fourth milestone goal was also reached, and that means we get to drink special top shelf booze, and so we have this. What the hell? <laughs> For all you Second Amendment fans who are also <laughs> drunks, we present this. Taking the word shots quite literally. <laughs> I have a feeling there's gonna be a glug, 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 glug sound. Pour me a magazine of vodka, please. Uh. Wow, that oh, sounded yeah. cool. Holy shit, that's almost gone. <laughs> How's that possible? Here's to Here Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Patreon! And all of our patrons. It just tastes like vodka. I'm not sure if I should be drinking that or rubbing it on my joints. It it vaporizes in your face. It seems like most of the, the money is going into the bottle. Yeah. 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 This and is not and this not into chicken, chicken. the bottle. Novelty vodka. I, I think what they did is they just took some Fleischmann's and put it in a gun. <laughs> like we can charge three times as much because gun. <laughs> hey, Uncle Matt! Did you buy this because of your friendship with me? Yeah. Yay. And you have the most pulp. Being pulled into an argument. Spoiled milk. It's always too late when you take a big drink and find chunks. Uh, the stench of decaying flesh. Oh. Uh, getting a tattoo. Having a bad tattoo is heebie-jeebie. I've seen some terrible, <laughs> terrible tattoos. Stench of decaying flesh. If so anything's gonna make you retch, that's gonna do it. You've smelled decaying flesh? Well, like animal flesh. The what animal? Uh, human. <laughs> <laughs> Just caught him in a lie. <laughs> My dad has this great story where he was out hunting and he came across in a cow pasture, a cow that had died and it was all bloated and Ugh. swollen. And what would happen if we just, you know, shot that thing? And so they, <gasps> they like shot the dead cow's stomach and just, Oh. The stench was overpowering and they were covered in like chunks. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So anyway, getting a tattoo, obviously the worst. One, two, kaboom! Four! Oh, no. uh, I don't like having arguments. That's true. Unless I'm on this show. This show really is my only forum for serious arguing. I don't do it in my normal life and I don't like them. And you like, know, stench of decaying, gate decaying flesh, never smelled it. I can't believe you've never had to cut open an animal and stay in it for the night to keep warm. I've always gotten back to the base before nightfall. Scoring update, Matt has three, everyone oh. else is tied with two. Oh, come on. I'll take an amber. Get em the amber. Get em the amber. Amba, ba, ba, ba. Would you like to purchase heebie-jeebies? You can check your local game store or you can go to this website and order it. It's also available on other websites that sell games. Dirty sheets. Sheets shouldn't be crunchy when you sleep on them. Oh. Fuck. Tiny swimsuits on large men. Ah. Sheila loves that. Oh. Cafeteria food. It's hard to tell the difference between meatloaf and tapioca pudding. Mm. Mom spit clean. You have nightmares of seeing the big lick to the thumb and then it slowly moves towards your face. Okay. I've had some fantastic hospital cafeteria food. Okay. The college that I went to had a, a really great cafeteria. Most people, they would gain the freshman 15. At St. Norbert, it was the freshman 40. Thus explains their cheerleaders. Das explains. Da, das explains their cheerleaders. <laughs> they were too roly-poly. Because they eat 
<laughs> too much sour broth. <laughs> Have you noticed that in like films and TV now, it's, there's this trope where it's like if you get put in a hospital and you're like the hero, you like immediately bust out of the fucking hospital. <laughs> you're just like, no hospital and keep me in it. I ain't you sick. Always, you always rip the IV yeah. out. I'm fine. Steal a coat. Yeah, and, you, just, yeah. Like, and you sneak out and nobody ever questions you. Right? And then so. they sign some chart and hand it to the, uh, the nurse and say, get this done. <laughs> You know, because they're disguising themselves as a doctor on the way out. and Here's a work order. Get and this by done. the way. And one, two, three. Three, three. Yeah, I knew it. Matt knew it. Okay, rotten eggs. The sulfur smell hits your nostrils and bores into your sinuses. Oh. So there's no escape. Eating lutefisk. It's a uh, fish dried in lye. <gasps> the creaking sound of old houses. And lastly, running barefoot on gravel. Sharp limestone edges cut into the soles of your feet like razors. So you had to be in a certain area of the country in order to be running on limestone gravel. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> Fucking geologist. <laughs> no, for a fact that Matt loves rotten eggs and lutefisk. <laughs> Often together. Fries them up in a pan and eats them right before recording Welcome to the Basement. <laughs> How do you know my pre-show ritual? <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Barefoot have, on gravel? I have very sensitive feet. I cannot walk barefoot on anything. Rotten eggs, they're stinky, yeah, but who cares? So if you're being chased by a bear when you're out camping, you're just screwed. My close second would be the creaking sound of old houses. I knew that. Wow. That's why I chose two. Mm -hmm. Feet on the gravel. Even just thinking about it, it really does give me the really? GBs. Limestone gravel specifically? Specifically <laughs> limestone gravel. Plugging the toilet at someone else's ah. house. Plugging Ooh. it with what? Plugging it with a giant cork. <laughs> 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 This is let's, gonna be the best practical joke ever. Let's see him try to get this out. <laughs> Head lice. Oh. Thunderstorms. Fingernails on a blackboard. Oh. All right, one, two, uh, three. No! Oh. Oh. This plugging the toilet. <laughs> the score is Matt has four, Sarah and Sheila are tied at three, and Aaron has two. What? <sighs> but I never lose these days. Maggots. Gross. Hospitals. Gross. Losing your house keys. Oh, uh, gross. Petting your cat with wet hands. I don't think losing your house keys is make, gives you the heebie-jeebies. Right, you're unless right. a ghost took it. What are you laughing? I did hear you. Ah, tootie twister. Oh, I picked the wrong one. No, I meant to pick that one. I swear to God. I believe you. You did this to me once before in a game, and I I accepted your... Oh, wow. Okay, you can have it. Oh, it's clearly that. It's clearly maggots. Matt wins. I do hate petting cats, though. Look how mad he is. <laughs> Matt wins. Matt wins. Matt wins. Oh, Matt wins. One more time. Get this done.